Let's talk about compiling and running your MPI program. You don't use the regular compiler, but you use compilers named MPI-CC if it's a C program, MPI-F90 if it's a Fortran program, and MPI-CXX if it's a C++ program. Now these are actually not separate compilers, but they are just a shell script around the regular Intel or, or GCC, C and Fortran compiler. So you can use all your usual flags like minus G and minus O2. When you've compiled your program, you have to run it and instead of just invoking it, um, you have to make sure that it gets run in parallel. So you use MPI exec or MPI run or something else. Check with your local installation. Now, do you need a supercomputer or do you need a 16-core, multi-core uh, desktop? No, you can start up your program in parallel and um, Unix uses time slicing and um, Unix OS uses time slicing if you, don't ha if you have more processes than cores. Of course, this will not be very efficient and so for performance reasons, you will run your program only as parallel as as many with on as many cores as you have or as many uh, processors in your cluster. Speaking of clusters, the usual cluster looks like this: you have a login node where you where you SSH into, and this login node is used by all the other users of the cluster. So type who, and you'll see that there are a hundred or so more people. This is not where you run your parallel program. You would get in the way of the other users. Usually you submit your program with a batch job and then it gets run on so-called compute nodes. On many clusters those compute nodes are exclusively assigned to you so the other users don't get in your way and you get the full performance of the cluster. Now, um, on some clusters you have to make a host file yourself describing on what uh, compute nodes your program is executed but often the job scheduler will take care of that. 